What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from RC Nightmare. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Depending on the order that you've been watching my videos, maybe you saw my Rustler 4x4 VXL RTR up, uh, unboxing and first review. This is the Rustler 4x4 Ultimate ready to run, sort of. Doesn't have batteries, I, I believe, so that's always been a gripe of mine. Why would you buy a 4x4 Ultimate? Well, According to Traxxas, it comes with $400 in upgraded parts. Now, that's their, their MSRP price and, and this, that, and the other thing. You could, you could, we could pick, nitpick that. But you know, ultimately, what they say is there's aluminum C-hubs, aluminum steering blocks, aluminum rear hub carriers, aluminum chassis stiffener, aluminum axle nuts. It has a different kind of tire that's better for more packed dirt for track racing and things of that nature. So it absolutely has a lot of the, a lot of the durability upgrades that a lot of people end up doing. A lot of people make these aluminum type upgrades to their parts as the plastic ones break. So you have to replace your C-Hub, you move to aluminum. The thing is a lot of people forget when you're buying all these fancy aluminum parts is there has to be a break point. And it, it really be, comes down to what do you want to break? Do you want the A-arm to break? That's $4 part or $8 part. Do you, you know, do you want the CM? So you have, if you make everything aluminum, uh, at the end of the day, I don't know exactly what's gonna break on you, but it's gonna be expensive. And this is, uh, now I'm not degrading that. If I were gonna buy a Russell 4x4 VXL, I would spend the extra money on the Ultimate because Traxxas does a really good job with the additional value that they put into this. Um, meaning all of these aluminum upgrade parts, is it $400? I doubt it, but you know, the price increase of, of maybe a hundred bucks to get this, you're getting an absolute metric ton of upgrades. So of course you have the Traxxas remote in there. Now they don't include a battery. So there's, you know, there's that. But when we go to um, and I can, I actually have a regular Russell VXL. I can show you side by side here so that we can see exactly what's up. So, you know, with any Traxxas, you have obviously your inside, you have your, to take your wheels off and all the Allen keys and wrenches you need to work on your kit as well as an instruction manual. That's not new. Now, outside of that, when you have the ultimate edition you've got a lot of key upgrades right out of the box that i can see here in particular with how the body works by how the body clips work the aluminum you see in fact let me just grab it makes more sense to just go ahead and show you side by side what you're getting for your money right so first of all we can see the body itself very similar on both the ultimate, which is in my left hand, the green, and the, I think it's about a hundred dollar price difference. I don't want to be totally bonkers wrong, but I think it's about a hundred dollar price difference, uh, if I remember correctly. So this is the body on the regular VXL. This is the body on the ultimate, the ultimate's here. Um, there's, they're exactly the same, no difference. Um, when we go inside though, okay, we have, you could see this obviously this big aluminum body stabilizer here that does not exist on the standard. You also see the aluminum shocks too on the, um, on the ultimate has these green anodized aluminum shocks, all that you can see the C hubs, carriers, stuff like that, all in aluminum. You can see also the tread type is different on the tires um, because this is for track racing. Now, just because it's quote unquote for track racing doesn't mean you can't rock it bashing because that's what I would do. Um, the power plant is exactly the same. The Traxxas Valenian 3500, waterproof, everything's kind of the same in that manner. Now, you look at, you know, the shocks, they look like they're a little different. You can see the shocks on the standard uh, Rustler 4x4 VXL have many more rings. These are like more spaced, spaced out. Um, that is of course to adhere to more of a flat surface as opposed, I assume, um, than the bashing more general purpose that you're gonna see on here. But you know, outside of that, 
They both have the low center of gravity, gravity chassis, um, you know, things of that nature. They both, you know, the shocks are improved. They both have a wheelie bar, the exact same wheelie bar on both are, you know, the wheelie bar is the same. So when they're talking about the upgrades that you're getting, it's all this aluminum stuff um, that is not cheap. Um, it, you know, I don't know. Um, oh. Here, what are you asking me to do? Steering servo. Oh, the steering servo. Got and it. The, and the wireless module. Oh. Um, okay, the other, there's a couple other very important upgrades. In the Russell Ultimate, you have the 2075R steering servo, which is a much more responsive, even though they both have the same strength, it's like 125 or 128 ounces or something like that. The R model of the steering servo is quicker and more responsive. So if you're on a track and you wanna do a lot of quick turns, that's what you get. You also have the wireless module in this so you can pass data back to your phone and things of that nature. Um, you know, the steering servo, I don't wanna undersell that because in any Traxxas 4x4 brushless, I always recommend upgrading the steering servo. In every scenario, it's never enough. The standard 2075 is okay. It's just like 20% underpowered. It's totally fine for out of the box having fun, but it's a whole different world if you buy a $60 Spectrum upgrade. You spend 60 bucks on like a freaking 300 ounce metal gear. Oh, this also has a metal gear in the steering servo versus this one does not. So this is metal gear and higher speed. Um, but when you get up like that nicer steering server, it just makes the experience of driving your truck so much better because you can rip those turns. You can have quick responsive um, turns, especially for like preventing rollovers and stuff like that. It, it, when you go to the better steering servo, it's night and day. Would I buy the 2075R? This is an interesting question. If I bought the um, Rustler 4x4 VXL and I was gonna upgrade the steering servo, what I spend, I believe the 2075 hours like 60 bucks, 60 or 70 bucks. No, that's not what I would buy. I would buy some crazy 400 ounce, super fast, super responsive spectrum or something like that. So the, for me, the aluminum upgrades are awesome. If you're gonna be on the dirt track, blasting it, you know, 10 scale dirt track, eight scale dirt track, or you have a well-groomed track area or on concrete, the upgrades are maximized in the Ultimate Edition. However, if you're just bashing around in the junk, um, you know, around your field and your driveway and things like that, parts are easier to replace when they're plastic, they're cheaper to replace. So the 4x4 VXL, you know, the Ultimate isn't any faster. Um, it isn't, you know, any different from a design perspective other than it does have the chassis brace um, here that's aluminum that does help. Um, for stability, and then obviously you have the shock upgrades. The value that you get in aluminum upgrades and the 2075R steering servo, which is an upgrade, and the wireless module in the Ultimate Edition, to me, makes it worth it. But that's all relative because you're talking about a lot of money. You know, you're talking about another hundred bucks on top of the Slash or the Rustler 4x4 VXL to get these upgrades. The value you get for them is, is strong. And you know, if I had to choose between the two, obviously I would take the ultimate and then change the tires to be more of a bash style, dirt kind of run wild tire. These are a finer tread. They're made for like well-groomed dirt or gravel or things of that nature. So taking that into account though, most people buy new tires, the tires that they want anyway. Most people upgrade the steering server anyway. So if you're looking at the ultimate and you're like, well, I'm still getting a 300 ounce, you know, steering servo. The question is, well, is the aluminum worth it? I would say it is. Traxxas does a good job on their ultimate upgrades. But like I said, you're talking about jumping up another big price jump. You know, it's a big price jump to go up to the ultimate. Do I think the ultimate is the best way to buy the, the Rosser 4x4 VXL? Yes, I do. In a perfect world where everyone has an infinite budget. But the Traxxas 4x4, um, the, four, or the Ruster 4x4 VXL is also an excellent kit. It's just, this pulls forward a lot of the upgrades that you probably would have done over the six months or a year that you do it. Eventually you are gonna replace the shocks. 
the Hobbs the carriers. All this stuff you're going to replace and you probably will go to aluminum. Uh, so you jump ahead and you get a discount for prepaying for it essentially. But they're both excellent kits. Um, I'm really happy to see this coming in Ultimate. I like that Traxxas does that and gets you kind of everything ready to rock out of the box. If you enjoyed this video or if you have any questions down below, please do make sure you leave a like on it, leave your comments in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe down below. It would mean the absolute world to me to help get more people into the hobby. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll talk to you again real soon.